Go to jail. This is our facts, Mars, and I am a little angry right now, so I may drop the F bomb a few times. Pin camera tells a true story of how a veteran died after calling for help, gasping for air. Somebody uh, set up a hidden camera in an Atlanta nursing home, and the veteran patient, I think they said he was 89, he's lying there in the bed, he's gasping for air, he's begging for help, and the nurses were sitting there laughing at him! An 11 Alive investigation uncovered hidden camera video catching nursing home staff laughing while an elder, elderly patient dies in front of them. The incident happened at Northeast Atlanta Health and Rehabilitation in 2014, but the video was recently released as a part of a lawsuit filed by the family. Attorneys representing the Atlanta nursing home tried to prevent 11 Alive from obtaining the video. They asked the DeKalb County judge to keep the video sealed and then attempted to appeal to the Georgia State Supreme Court. The judge ruled in favor of 11 Alive, and Nursing Home eventually dropped its appeal to the state's highest court. They tried to cover it up! Somebody should be in fucking jail! I don't care! They need to go to fucking jail! The video includes almost six hours of video court deposition from the nursing supervisor explaining how she responded to the patient. Of course, she knew the hidden camera video existed. In other words, she lied. Video shows a completely different response. The deceased patient is 89-year-old James Dempsey, a decorated World War II veteran from Woodstock, Georgia. In the video deposition, former, former nursing supervisor Wanda Knuckles, who belong, belongs in prison, tells the family's attorney, Mike, Prieto, how she rushed to Dempsey's room when a nurse alerted her he had stopped breathing. And it's all a lie. Prieto, from the time you came in, you took over doing chest compressions, right? Knuckles, yes. CPR, in other words. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Until the time paramedics arrive, you're giving CPR continuously. Knuckles, yes. The video, however, shows no one doing CPR when Knuckles enters the room. She d also did not immediately start doing CPR. Sir, so that was an honest mistake. Ah! Uh, liar, liar, liar! Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Knuckles said in that position, I was just basing everything on what I normally do. Oh, Bullshit. That is incredible bullshit. Video shows a veteran calling for help six times before he goes unconscious while grasping for air. State records show nursing home staff found Dempsey unresponsive at 5.28 a.m. It took almost an hour for the staff to call 911 at 6.25 a.m. This has got to be at least, at the very least, Criminally negligent homicide. When a different nurse does respond, she fails to check any of his vital signs. Knuckles says she would have reprimanded the nurse for the way she responded to Dempsey. She called the video sick. No, you're sick! When nurses had difficulty getting Dempsey's oxygen machine operational during, you can hear Knuckles and others laughing. Prieto, ma'am, was there something funny that this was happening? Knuckles, I can't even remember all that, as you can see. 
Oh, she's a liar. All right. Uh, Women Live showed video to Elaine Harris, a retired nursing professor and expert in adult critical care. In 43 years of nursing, I've never seen such disregard for human life in a healthcare setting is what I witnessed, said Harris. Harris says she identified several violations of care in the video, including <coughs> failure to respond, failure to assess, and failure to act. I'm going to have to stop because I'm shouting myself hoarse. I am pissed, boy. Nursing home operators owned by Sava Senior Care declined to interview requests. In a prepared statement, the spokesperson wrote, they are deeply saddened by the events which occurred more than three years ago. My heart bleeds for you. The letter also notes that it has new leadership and new leadership team and staff that work very diligently to improve quality care and quality of life for our residents. So I haven't seen. The facility was recently... Deficiency free during a recent annual inspection conducted by the Georgia Department of Health on May 25th, 2017. Like I said, if I keep going, I'm going to shout myself hoarse. This is fucking bullshit, folks. <sighs> Somebody needs to go to fucking jail over this. I'm sorry. All those nurses, they did say that they uh, surrendered their nursing licenses. That's not enough. They're sitting there laughing while this guy died. They should be in fucking jail. I don't care. I'm going to say it again. They should be in fucking jail. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm going to keep cussing and swearing. I'm going to shut my horse, self horse if I don't go. In the inset there, you can see that uh, douchebag uh, nursing supervisor. She should lose her license and be in jail as well. She lied on her oath, for one thing. Unbelievable. This is our Facts of Mars. I am hot. <laughs>